Uh, Amendment 31, Lord Moylan. Uh, my Lords, again, I will be brief. The question of deferment rates was raised by the Right Reverend Prelate, um, the Lord Bishop of uh, Southall, and um, he raised them specifically in connection with charities. He did not explain exactly uh, what was going on here. Uh, my, my amendments are broader than his. They cover the entire spectrum of deferment rates. Uh, what is going on here is that uh, these, these, two, these rates, deferment rates and capitalisation rates, I have amendments addressing both of them, are absolutely crucial to the valuation of property for the purpose of freehold uh, enfranchisement and leasehold extensions. Indeed, I am indebted to the noble Baroness Lady Pinnock for her speech in a committee when she read out, in, so to speak, in tabular form, um, how very, very small, very small quarter, point, quarter percentage point adjustments <coughs> in deferment rates could have very large effects on capital values. Uh, and she illustrated, without my having to do so, um, exactly how important this measure is. Now, heretofore, deferment rates and capitalisation rates are set in principle by a tribunal on the basis of um, argument and evidence. It's true that that doesn't happen very often. It is true, and I grant this point to the government, that while large landowners have the resources to bring, for, to, to, to bring those actions before a tribunal, it is more difficult for leaseholders to do so because of the large amount of professional evidence required in order them, for them to make their case. Uh, I fully accept, therefore, that this is something that could be looked at. But can it be right here that, what we are, what, that the right approach is for this rate to be set by the Secretary of State? Why would we transfer this in, a highly political, in this highly political question to the Secretary of State? Pushing up the deferment rate will have the effect of destroying freehold values. I know my noble friend says it is going to be set uh, in line with the market, but that leaves a very wide uh, margin of discretion nonetheless. Deferment rates and capitalisation rates. My amendments, as I say, refer to both. So I cannot see why we would want to pass this, this, this sensitive decision essentially into the political forum. Um, my noble friend has said the Secretary of State will consult. He offered that assurance to the Right Reverend Prelate in relation to charities. But, but this is no substitute, in my view, for having these rates set um, in, in a judicial forum on, the, on, in, on an adversarial basis, uh, as is our tradition, on the basis of argument and evidence. And they should go. This provision should.